what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i decided to make a video of my top 10 most surprising things here in the united states i know that there are a lot of differences between my country the philippines and the united states and so picking up my top 10 wasn't very easy but if you guys are interested to know my top 10 please keep watching number 10 mailboxes everyone seems to have a mailbox in front of their house and not just that because we receive mail almost every day you have ads from supermarket or coupons from fast food restaurants or letter from someone who's interested in buying your house and lot insurance companies charities and stuff like that when I was still in the Philippines I thought that oh probably they don't get to receive mail in the United States because they can send it through text message or email but no that doesn't seem right for them because if you don't receive mail in three consecutive days that's gonna be sad number nine bulk items portion sizes I know in the Philippines when you order a burger you'll get an itty bitty burger like this but here you'll get to have a real burger every time that we go to a restaurant I tend to take home half of my food because they give you large portion of food but not just that because in their supermarket you'll see a lot of bulk items and when I say bulk items, I mean like bulk items. Everything seems to come in boxes, containers, gallons, big bags, sacks. Like, can you imagine a 10 pound potato in a sack? Like, everything is big. Everything is big in Texas. Number eight, microwave, oven fridge, dishwasher, internet, and most importantly, air conditioning unit that is a starter pack in an American house and everyone has to have an AC. AC is like part of their human rights here and in the Philippines, people rant in their social media account because of low salary but here people rant because their AC is broken <laughs> number seven hi how are you or hey how's it going those are the two common phrases you'll hear from a stranger let's say a staff from a fast food drive through or a fancy restaurant or even from a cash register all of them they'll say hi how are you to each and every customer that seems so amazing but they don't really mean to ask you how your life has been going or your day has been going or what have you been up to so they only want to ask you how are you related to their job something that they can help you with and not your personal problem so when someone says hi how are you just say just fine how are you number six everyone is entitled to have free refill drinks I'm not even joking when I was in Houston with my husband, we had lunch in Jollibee and we were sitting right next to a refill station in Jollibee. That's something that you don't get to experience in the Philippines. And in some places, when they see your glass is half empty, they will come to you with another full glass of what you have been drinking without asking them. And it's really good because you get to drink as much as you want number five instant foods in the philippines when you say instant food you'll have noodles or sardines and things like that but here they have a lot of instant food like 
potato flakes for mashed potato. They have a bag of rice that you boil in 10 minutes and it's gonna be ready. They have what they call TV dinners that has meat, starch, and vegetables that you need to put in the microwave for three minutes and it's gonna be ready for you. They even have frozen pizza. Like, are you kidding me? Everything is very convenient, very instant, and very unhealthy. Number four, doing the laundry here in the United States is very easy. When I say very easy, I really mean very, very easy. And I'm not exaggerating, guys, because in the Philippines, if you have a washing machine and a dryer, you'll be fine. But here, you don't even get your hands wet when you do the laundry. You don't even know where the water is going after you wash your clothes. You just throw your dirty clothes in the washing machine, put a detergent pod, close the lid, and turn on the washing machine. And it will wash for you when it's done. Put it in the dryer and it will be ready for an hour. And when I say ready, it's ready to wear dry kind of thing. You don't even have to hang your clothes. You don't even have to iron your clothes. It's ready to wear after an hour. It's like a lifesaver. Number three, 7-Eleven is not just a 24 hour convenience store. In the Philippines, if you're craving for ice cream in the middle of the night, you go to 7-Eleven because that's the only store that's open. But here, 7-Eleven is a gas station. But gas stations here don't have gasoline personnel or like gasoline boy as we call it in the Philippines who assist us to fill up our tanks. Here, you do it by yourself. And not just that, 7-Eleven stores have their own restroom, like for public use. Speaking of restroom, all public places here have restroom and all have tissue paper available for them. Unlike in the Philippines, struggle is real. You only expect a restroom to have tissue paper for users if you are in a mall or something like that. But here, you don't really have to think about bringing your own tissue paper because everywhere has tissue paper available for you. Number two, no spoon. I have been here in the United States for like 10 months now and not a single chance that I see my husband eat with a spoon. He always uses fork and knife and he asks me all the time, why are you using spoon? You're eating rice and steak. You're using spoon. I mean, I'm a Filipino and a spoon is my greatest weapon. Like here, they only use spoon for soup. And that's not fair. I mean, I personally have a very high respect to spoon. So I will always use my spoon. But yeah, I just realized as a Filipino, I know that we learned a lot from Americans. And if Filipinos use spoon and fork and Americans don't do that, then who taught us how to use spoon and fork then? Number one on our list, supermarkets here do not just sell food like meat, vegetables, and things like that. In the Philippines, I know there are supermarkets that sell appliances like TV, speakers, computer, or toaster, even cell phone. That is not a new concept for me. But here in the United States, they sell things that you will not expect. So if your fiancé or anyone from the United States tell you, we have a lot of choices in our grocery store, believe them because just yesterday I saw Walmart sell bullets, guns, or even car tires, and you won't believe this. They have kayak inside their grocery store. They don't even have a place to use them here at all, but... They all have them here. It's like, wow. Wow. So that
that's it for my top 10 most surprising things here in the United States. Please hit like if you enjoy watching this video and don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you next time. Bye!